The MCA represents the ultimate test and embracing the core values of the Royal Academy of Culinary Arts. The holders of the MCA is able to prove advanced technical skills and professional ability, demonstrate comprehensive knowledge of the principles of sustainability and viability of our food source, and support the development of others and act in the best interest of the culinary arts profession. The final, which is taking place today, the candidates have to produce two dishes. They have been told in advance what the ingredients will be in those dishes. Dover so with lots of other seafood uh, for the first course and then partridge for the main dish. These are then judged by uh, a panel of extremely qualified chefs to decide whether the competitor has been successful in achieving the standard that we're looking for in a master of culinary arts. It's important that we give uh, our judges some guidance, but they're all professional um, individuals who have a, a huge understanding of what our requirements are. But in general, they're looking at the presentation of the dish, the overall taste of the dish, and the overall technicality and temperature of the finished dish. I entered the MCA because it's a great accolade to have and if you like a challenge it's one of the bigger ones. If I get this award it will literally be career changing and hopefully influence my team massively to compete in competitions and I could use it to grow the career forward. Oh, it would be a great, uh, a great thing if we can manage to achieve it. It's, um, it puts you in a quite elite group amongst your peers and your fellow chefs. It's something well, well worth having. It's a co the culmination of a lifetime's work. It gives the pastry chef the opportunity to prove that he or she can work to a standard of near perfection. All competitors are competing against themselves and not others. I entered the Master of Culinary Arts um, because I wanted a challenge. I wanted to push myself um, and I think sometimes you need a reason to do it and the Master of Culinary Arts was the one. Um, for me, it's um, it's like the the final, if you like, part of all of my training, all of my work experience, um, kind of coming together at the end to give to 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 show uh, you know the the skill, if you like, that you've acquired of your, for your craft. There were so many tasks. There was they had to come in. To, to, to compete, they had to do an essay to start with. They had to send their CV. They had to be at least 10 years experience uh, into the profession. So they had to have already a good CV. And then they, that was the, 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 the qualifying point. The, the quarter final was a lot to do with their knowledge of food and beverage. There was a, a test on writing. Uh, there was an interview on their own menu. There was a lot of uh, testing them on their knowledge. And then the semi-final, if you like, the semi-final was possibly the toughest one. The semi-final, we asked them to do the, a lot of uh, what technical uh, carving, filleting, a lot of beverage, uh, what do you call beverage knowledge, a lot of no wine knowledge, wine service, all those uh, cheese recognition and so on. That was the semi-final. And the final was today the last service on the table. It's not a competition, it's an examination. And the finalists have to achieve an average of 70% plus. Now, people can say, 70%? Oh, well, you can do without 30%. However, the big problem there is, you have to understand who is actually measuring you. It's usually people that are MCAs themselves and they're very protective of this award. So of course to get that average is very, very difficult in every sense of the word. However, I am always hopeful that we can actually always bring people on. But it is a difficult situation and a tough examination. The toughest that we have in this industry. The Master of Culinary Arts is really important because it helps others to aspire to become the very best that they possibly can be and of course to become the role models to others to uh, succeed in their profession.
and to set examples of the very, very best in craftsmanship and skills. A master should be perfection on his own work, on the way he receives the people, on the way he's serving the food, on the way he's conducting his team, on the way he's conducting his restaurant. It's the last achievement for the front of the, for the, front of the house. And the MCA is the top. There is no other achievement than that. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Our patron, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, is profoundly sorry that he cannot be with us tonight. His Royal Highness actually takes a very keen interest in what we were doing and was key to the privilege of the royal title granted to us in 2013 by Her Majesty the Queen. It's a true acknowledgement of several decades of work. This is our evening, the evening of the future, because those young people, girls and boys, will be the future of our industry. The award is a hugely important achievement, but equally vital for all of those who are part of our industry, is to pass on the skills and knowledge to the next generation, while inspiring them to achieve everything they can on their own journey. Without the next generation, we are nothing. Without doubt, it raised my own standards and the standards of those around me. It gave me confidence. It taught me that you need dedication, countless hours of hard work, determination and enthusiasm, and it strengthens one's will to succeed. The MC has brought me a, a lot, has brought me a family, and I'd like to thank you all for that. So I'd like to say as well, that good luck to all the finalists today. And, you know, don't be disappointed. I'm sure you will be if you don't get it, but come back, okay? And it's worth coming back to it. This is the moment that many of you have been waiting for. Our first Master of Culinary Arts 2017 in Restaurant Management and Service is awarded to Alessandra Fasoli from the Wood Spring Restaurant and Cookery School. Well, great. I've been uh, working for well, over a year in preparation and um, it's something that I really, really wanted to achieve. Well, the next goal is to use uh, the MCA as a tool to mentor and to, uh, to get the youngsters inside our business and our industry and really help them to, uh, to get to another step, a step further. Giovanni Felito from the Ritz. Well, I feel, uh, I feel very excited and uh, I'm very, very happy and it means really a lot to me after such a, a, a great journey. Our first Master of Culinary Arts 2017 in Culinary Skills is awarded to Adam Bennett from the Cross at Kenilworth. Chris Hill from the Ritz Hotel. Adam Smith from Cosworth. Still a bit shocked really, I think, um, you know, it's always difficult in them situations to realise how you got on. Um, but no, it's great, I'm mean, very excited and a bit overwhelmed really. Adam Thomason from Deloitte. I hope I can change the industry in a positive light, bring as many people as I can inspire into the industry and hope it grows in the right manner. Anthony Wright. 